welcome back to episode four, day four. And uh, I did just say it was 10 minutes in the last episode. It was actually 18. Oh, I got that slightly wrong. Uh, so day four. And uh, yes, most of the day, it's probably going to be a fishing day. I'm getting this, this weather really wrong. I am. Oh, and there's a cutscene. Oh, dear. Hi, Clint. Yeah, I've been breaking rocks open. I'll need a furnace. Okay. Yay, I got a furnace. Okay. Anything else? No? Yes, it's yet another advertisement for his shop. The uh, the villagers here seem to have an ulterior motive to actually everything. Uh, furnace, I need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. I'm not going to get that today. Yeah. At least the copper ore I'm not. So that's fine. Let's go and see what's in the mail. Uh, yes, that will be part of the intro. They joked about this being a terrible farm. And um, this is Robin, yes. Uh, she's going to offer a kitchen if I want to cook stuff. Well, maybe. I don't know, that joke about the farm that I didn't see. <laughs> that might be a bad thing. Okay, so let's just water while I talk about probably what I'm going to do today. Um, again, these episodes seem to be quite nicely rounding out at around about 20 minutes. But given today is probably... I don't know, should I fish? I guess I should. Um, because I'll be fishing, I'm probably going to cut most of today out and then have this episode also include day five. Um, no crow today. Good. Because I can't, still can't build a... Scarecrow. Nope. We get that at some point. I can't remember which day is exactly. But one thing we do get today is the ability to go and buy more. More seeds. More. And that, that sort of has a downside in that I have to keep watering the, 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 the things. Um, yeah. Which is not terribly amazing. And the other thing, by the way, is that this music, this game's music keeps cutting in and out. It, it's nothing I'm controlling. Um, I can't have it playing permanently, which would be a nicer option, so it's nice and consistent in the background. It just decides when to play and when not to. Um, is the community centre open yet? This is a cutscene when it is. Uh, so let's just actually... I'm not sure if there's a purpose, but I'll get a coal. That will do. I'm not sure the purpose behind this. It is... Let's get a little of fibre. Still can't get in there. There's a cutscene when you actually can, so that's the easiest way to watch out for it. Um, journal, forging ahead, craft a furnace, which we can't do yet until the mine opens, or at least that's not what I want to do until the mine opens. Am I far enough away? No, I'm not far enough away from these guys to check their trash cans. Maybe this one is. Yeah, that will do. I'm not going through your trash cans. Honestly, guys, I'm just um, finding trash in places. Yeah. And the shop's open. Never seen a dog here. Not sure where the dog is. Maybe that's just me. Uh, open, please. And I should have enough for 12 potatoes. Um, the uh, Let's just grab as many as I can get. 13. I can sell mixed seeds for zero gold. Yeah, I'm not sure about that being useful. They never sell mixed seeds, basically. They don't They don't go for anything. You just put them in your... You can plant them or do whatever you want with. It's up to you entirely. Um, the other mechanic I've briefly mentioned, but not really explained, is that each type of plant takes a certain number of days to mature. Which sounds obvious, until uh, you come down to how long each season lasts. Thursday, the fourth of the season. Uh, fortunately, these aren't real months. Um, you have 28 days per season, as soon as it rolls over from 28 to 29, all your crops die. So you have to harvest the last crop on the 28th if you're cutting it really tight. Mostly you end up not actually doing that amount. You end up, um, you end up being something like a few days short. Depends what your crops are. In the case of potatoes, they take six days. And because they take six days, uh, I can't get rid of that yet, that's going to be annoying. 
Uh, I've got ten to plant. Okay, um, because it takes six days to mature. Your first day, your, the day you plant them, it'll be day zero. And then there's six more days, and it'll be okay on the last day of that. So, at least if I remember correctly, uh, there it is. And that's one too many, but never mind. Not too much energy. So we just put these out and uh, go. And because I've staggered all these, unfortunately, it doesn't mean that um, it's going to be offset so you've got to keep an eye on which ones are not yet ready and how long they're likely to take so you don't plant anything basically for potatoes you can't really plant anything after the 20 six days to plant so i guess you've got a last day for planting on the 21st so then you've got 22 onwards and you end up with the, the end day so i think you you if you start on the first with basically four full rotations of potatoes that should work i think i'm not working all the math out but uh that seems reasonable <laughs> so i'll take it and i forgot to water a couple of these did i yeah all right so let's shove you away and do i have anything else i want to do no the rest of today i'm going to go fish see you in a bit and it's getting pretty late on, it's half past eight. I've got a fair few fish. I did sell some to uh, Willie in the shop earlier. He gave me about 100 gold, I think, for them. I'm just gonna drink the, these energies, even though it's evil cola. i <laughs> uh, just gonna check to see if there's anything over here to, to forage for the day. I guess there isn't. Uh, no, nothing down there. Uh, so yes, I've got these few fish. Uh, you can eat them, but uh, it's definitely worth selling them. Um, we're going to get, I should imagine, oh, I don't know, a couple of hundred gold for them. That'd be nice if you get that much. We'll see shortly. Um, and we're going to head back over. As it's dark now, I guess we can go and um, check all the deposit locations for donations to my farm. That's what I'm thinking of the, <laughs> thinking they are, and that's fine by me. Um, head back across. Apparently you can own a horse later in the game. I wonder if you actually uh, use that to get around a bit faster. Probably not. But we're just going to put all this fish in here. We still can't get to the uh, community centre just yet. The crops are fine. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I can actually fish in here. Uh... Oh, uh, well, uh, no, I can't. Oops, uh, oops, if I'm selecting the fishing rod. Yep, but it's probably going to be terrible because that's really close to that land there, so the likelihood of me getting any decent fish out of this is probably next to nothing. So, uh, I just pulled up some soggy newspaper completely by accident <laughs> by clicking at the wrong time. Uh, that's again another piece of trash. Um, yeah, I'll keep them and see if I can recycle them later. Uh, what did I want to do with the rest of the energy? Uh, yes, just cut down some of the pine trees in the hopes of getting some pine cones just to get a couple of... Yeah, there's one. Just to get a couple of um, field snacks. They're very, very useful to have at least some of them with you. There we go, and we can get rid of some of this as long as we're not too... This stuff will spread, by the way, this grass, so you don't have to worry about too much. And by the way, this is on YouTube, so hopefully it's not too dark. YouTube tends to be a bit like that. I shouldn't have used that tool there. YouTube does tend to be a bit like that. that I... Nothing I can really do. If I up, up the gamma in this, it's not going to look right, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I will leave it as is, and I'll see about what you say in the comments. Speaking about comments, um, I am recording a bunch of these episodes... Oh dear, I am really out of energy. Okay, let's go back. I am recording a bunch of these at once. So, and it's 12.10am, so I should be heading for sleep anyway. Um, I am recording a bunch of these at once, so don't be surprised if I'm not able to respond to you uh, immediately. You know, the day after. I'm not recording them one a day, I'm recording quite a few... Uh, maybe four or five a day. Yes, yeah, I'm going to go sleep for the night. Level one fishing. I'm going to use up less energy when I fish from now on. And I earned eh, a couple of hundred gold. So that was useful. Yes, so I'm recording a few of these at once. And this episode is going to continue with um, 
day five because I cut out some of day four. Weather report. Uh, sunny day tomorrow. Oh, great. And wait, that's a dog. I said it was a dog person. Can you see my mock surprise? Uh, this is my surprised face. Yes. It's a stray with a collar. I'm quite a tame stray. Will I adopt the dog? Yes, of course I'll adopt the dog, but I'm not going to call the dog Yogi. It's a bear. Let's go for Jess. Those of you who think that's a cat's name are wrong. It's a dog's name. Now. Yes. And now you know what that's for up there. That's the dog bowl. So just bear that in mind. And to our Jojo Mart customers, they've removed the landslide called by, called by a drilling operation. Yes, so that means we now have access to the mine and our first harvest of parsnips. Parsnips everywhere. Unfortunately, only 14 because one got stolen by the, the mm, crow. Um, I'm just going to put them in there for now. I will probably sell them by the box later. We should really replace those straight away with potatoes. Uh, that's 8 and 6, 14, obviously because you put 14 in the box. I don't think I have enough for 14 potatoes, so I'm just going to get what I can. Uh, fair enough. On days where it's not raining, you'll find you have to do a lot more stuff and uh, use a lot more energy. In particular, I need to water things, which I should have done before I headed out here, but never mind. We'll deal with it anyway. Um, while it's early, I will just take a quick trip up to the mine. And we'll come back down for, for seeds when we get back. Yes, birds. Run. Run in fear of my lack of weapons and ability to defend myself. We'll see about that shortly. And I went the wrong way if I wanted to get to the mine quickly. I did tell you in an earlier episode to go a different way than this. However, this is the other way, which I purely want to do to illustrate how not to do it, of course. So that is fine. Here's the mine, and there is a person with a cloak and an eye patch, which of course you always find in mines. <laughs> no clue why. Yes, you've been looking down into the mine shaft. It's been on for decades. There's probably stuff down there. Yeah, I agree. There probably is. And I get a sword. It's a terrible sword. It's got pieces missing out of it. It's a rusty sword as well. And Marlon, you're the Adventurers Guild. Okay, so the lift doesn't work yet. We've got to get down a few levels before that will work. Let me just rearrange this so that I'm not going backwards and forwards quite as much. Uh, let's just rearrange that to so the swords there. And now we can use the pickaxe. Uh, a lot of these rocks don't will just give us stone, but because we don't have the way down visible, we have to basically mine until we find well <laughs> a geode on lucky days we can unlock those at the smithy well, our friend clint is selling his services by giving us crappy stuff and then saying hey why don't you use our service so you just end up using your energy like this until you find a way down there it is and we go down by right clicking and we get quartz quartz first time you can donate second time and thereafter you don't really need to do it. You can just sell or use for crafting recipes. Those kind of rocks I just went after are the ones with copper in them, which are fairly important. And this is our first some mobs that you kind of learn to hate. <laughs> These slimes. Um, this sword is terrible. Uh, yeah, you do get a quest for these soon to kill them, which would be nice, especially not taking damage from them, there's another slime, okay, and I'm out of space, <laughs> alright, we're gonna have to eat something, and I may even have to throw some stone away, but that's okay, uh, because I want to get rid of this 
And this. I don't really care about the slime anymore. I just wanted the copper ore, which I've now got six of. Remember, we need 20 of it for the furnace. So let's head down. And when you can get these boxes, just destroy them with your sword. And my inventory is full, so I can't do anything with that. But it's just sap, so I don't have to worry about that too much. I do, however, I need to worry about this slime. And more copper. These are torches. You can pick them up, just like Minecraft. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I just want to go over here and snatch as much copper as I can. In the time that I have, it's now nearly noon. Be very careful down here. It's very easy to get uh, lost in just mining and uh, uh, getting lots of stuff. Uh, how much copper is that? 16, 17, 18. 19, I've got one at the house, so I could be done there. However, I do kind of want to see if I can unlock... Oh, wow. Stuff that I really could do with keeping. Ah, I can't throw anything away. Ah, slimes, I guess. And you. Cave carrots uh, is very useful for energy. It's 30 energy. But more importantly, it's one of the collection objects that I probably want to keep. Uh, and I don't have a way down visible. Um, and I don't want to go through those. Now, this kind of activity, particularly when you destroy enemies, is influenced by luck. And I didn't check the TV to see how much luck is going to be generated today. But the idea is you can get the way down like this just from hitting a random rock. But you can also do it by killing an enemy. And that is influenced by luck, I believe. So the more luck you have, the better chance you have of finding the way down quickly. That is... Um, I know. Okay, go on then. Everyone hates the slimes. There are more annoying stuff uh, further down in the mine, so they're not alone. And now I guess you can see the, the purpose of the food. You can also end up uh, using the food. I'm not about to lose any of this stuff apart from the forageables. Um, you can use the food to, um, to regenerate health, just as you could regenerate... Uh, there we go. Just as you could regenerate uh, energy. So you have a health bar now, but it only really appears when you're in the mine. Because the rest of the time you don't really take damage, or at least not in the early game. I'm not sure about the late game. Uh, we're way down. So here's five. And there is the lift. I'm getting poisoned. Zero. And we're going to get out. So every time you go down five levels, you will get to lift. The lift, in turn, will let you get back to the top and go back down again. So just try and do it every five levels. Leave, leave the uh, thingy. And I have no space at all, so I'm going to have to go back to the farm. It's 2.40pm, I may not even make it back in time to buy seeds. No, I wanted to be quick about it. I've gone back the wrong way again. Mm. Yes, it annoys me, perhaps more than it annoys you. I could sell these at the shop maybe, but I had to donate at least once and then... Uh... Not enough time to do anything. 3.20. I think there is literally no time to get back before 5pm. I normally end up arriving back at the door just as it shuts. 3.30. <laughs> Come on. Uh, back to the chest. Here's what I know about this being so, so time-centric. I haven't even watered the crops yet. Uh, back. But it's okay, I can do that if I get back to the shop in time. 3.40. 50. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh, I'll make it. That, that's, 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 again, not how to do it. There we go. So we got 348 gold. Uh, we haven't got access to... There's lots of stuff in here, but most of it is irrelevant just yet. What we don't have access to just yet is fertilizer which increases the chance that you get silver and gold crops. 
And back across we go. All the shops tend to shut at 5pm. Uh, some of them, I think, are open a little bit longer. Like the saloon, I think, opens longer. That's for various foodstuffs. Alright, so we can just fill this one back up, I guess. And, uh, yeah, time to use all of our energy. So, don't want to use that. Let's sell all of these and... Don't want to sell mixed seeds, whatever I do. Uh, is there anything else I want to sell? Not really. Uh, no, because I need to donate those. And I need a good luck day for those. So, yeah, let's just sell the, these. Now, I'm not sure if you get the, scare, the scarecrow recipe when you do 15 of these. If so, we're one short because the crow already came, came back and, and nicked it all. So, never mind. We will, or should get more. In fact, oh wait, I went just straight for potatoes. Maybe it's 15 crops. We're soon going to find out, I guess. I will check on that between the episodes to make sure. And I'm just going to get some of these, these, and where are they? Those. We can then make field snacks. Put the rest of them away. And there we go. So, off we go as usual. It's so nice once we get sprinklers. Initially, however, sprinklers do take iron to make. And uh, that is much farther down in the mine. We can get access to copper fairly easily in the mine, um, as you've seen. But not necessarily iron. Uh, it's about to run out of water, I think. Yeah, let's water these last few, and then we'll see if we've got enough to make the first, which will be very nice if true. Okay, so furnace. It takes copper ore and stone. Did I throw all the stone away? No, it looks like I didn't. Uh, copper ore. I should have enough. Furnace. We've got it. So we can place that down just like any other item. Uh, there's a few places we can put it. Probably a fishing spot's good because it takes time to actually do this. So uh, I'm just going to put it there for now. And then what you need is five copper and one coal to get a, a single copper bar. And unfortunately that means I only have enough for one. There it goes. Uh, yeah, I have no more coal. I threw it away because of inventory shortages. So there's that. And you need five of these copper bars, which means 25 copper ore per um, tool upgrade. And really the only one I kind of want to get out of the way is maybe the watering can. Sort of the pickaxe will do. The sword you actually buy on Discover more versions, so that's all good. We are 7pm. Ah, I should I see the dog there. And there's the copper bar. And our journal's updated, so we got deeper in the mine, reach level 40, that's quest, advance, reach farming level 1, and craft a scarecrow. Not sure what it takes to reach farming level 1, maybe it's just 15 crops, in which case it's going to be another day or so. Raiding animals, build a coop, do not do this. Build a silo first. Um, we're going to build a silo once we have... Ah, there we go. Um, a silo once we have more copper. It takes copper to build it. And that is it. The rest of the day is going to be just me uh, clearing up. So I'm going to cut that out and back in a second just to see what we get for the end of the day. And the end of the day, so let's just quickly head to bed and see what we get. Level 1 farming, so what, 14 was enough, which gives me a scarecrow and fertilizer, both of which we're going to use tomorrow uh, and therefore the next episode to uh, do some improvements and the warm mining which means we also get cherry bombs think of those like uh, Bomberman not War Zelda, same kind of thing and pickaxe proficiency and we got 500 gold from our first harvest and that's the end of this episode so if you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe otherwise feel free to comment and let me know what you think of this series uh, am I going fast enough, slow enough 
any suggestions more than welcome and we'll see you next episode thanks for watching